Angita Verma and welcome to our channel Your Pedia Job Updates and Preparation. In this video, we are going to discuss about the multiple recruitments, multiple vacancies introduced by Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission. So, Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission has introduced the number of vacancies for the post of Assistant Agriculture Officer and Assistant Horticulture Officer. So, 250 plus vacancies are out here for which you can apply for these vacancies. I am going to discuss in this video who are going to be eligible to apply for this position, how can you apply for that and what will be the last date, important dates. So we will discuss about it. If we talk about the application, then application has started for these vacancies. So if we talk about the notification, Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission has introduced the number of vacancies, 250 plus vacancies are out here and these vacancies will be followed by the CBT that is computer based test. So, for the selection procedure if I talk about then there will be a written test on the behalf of written test the candidates are going to be selected for the post of assistant agriculture officer and assistant horticulture officer. So this is the complete full notification in front of you that is out now on 25th November 2023. Applications are ongoing currently ongoing applications are here online applications will be here. You will just need to do one thing you just need to go and register if, if you are not the registered candidate you will have to do the one-time registration and then you will fill out the application for the post of assistant agriculture officer and assistant horticulture officer so number of positions are out here if we talk about the assistant agriculture officer position then 79 plus 5 vacancies are out here and for the post of assistant horticulture officer 140 plus 31 vacancies are out here here the star is marked why because vacancies shown here are the vacancies after deducting 3% of vacancies for the reservation for meritorious sports person so uh, they have uh, reduced the vacancies which are you know for the sports person only so after that they are just mentioning the vacancies here if we talk about the salary package then 20,000 plus salary package will be given here up to 70,000 plus salary will be here so this is a 10th uh, level scale vacancy so this is a 10th level scale pay scale they are going to provide for these vacancies for the post of assistant officer in horticulture and agriculture so the distribution of vacancies are here some are carried forward vacancies some are regular vacancies for horticulture officer for agriculture officers vacancies so they have divided the vacancies like this if we talk about the important dates then the application is, has started from 25th November 2023 and you can apply for these vacancies till 24th December yes you can apply till 24th December 2023 for this so application are going to be till 24th December but yes application correction window will open see not every commission not every department can open the correction window but Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission will open the correction window for the correction if you will fill up the form if you will apply but there will be some mistake you can correct it later on when the application correction window will be opened up so you will able to do the correction after applying for this position understand one thing one thing for this application first you have to go to the official website you have to do the registration and you have to pay the registration fee after that you have to apply for the exam for the CBT for these vacancies and then you will have to do the payment for that the payment method we will discuss later on completely but first you have to do the one time registration then you will have to apply for this position if there are some candidates who have already done the registration they will just need to apply for this vacancy completely till 24 December 2023 you can apply for it okay if we talk about the age limit then upper age limit is the 32 years and the lower age limit is 18 so under this age group candidates can apply for it and and there is no any maximum age for the certain category so you can take care of that according to this you can apply see this is a government job so there will be proper relaxation in the age and proper relaxation in the vacancies so you can apply according to your vacancies if I talk about the educational qualification if you have completed your 12th class you have completed your diploma or degree in agriculture or horticulture you can apply for this vacancy if you have the experience it will be great but there is no any experience required here all they are asking for the educational qualification only if you have degree if you have diploma you can apply for these vacancies so freshers can apply for these vacancies 
and if I talk about the selection procedure on the behalf of the written exam, you are going to be selected for this vacancy. So there is no any interview uh, written over here. All they are saying is you just have to complete the application, you have to give the exam and then you will get selected for this vacancy. So if I talk about the application, then there will be registration fee 150 rupees and examination fee will be there, 100 rupees examination fee will be there for this vacancy. See, so examination fee concession details are totally mentioned over here according to the categories you will have the concession for these uh, application fee and the mode of payment if I talk about it will be totally online online you will have to uh, you know do the payment for this concession will be there as per the category that is totally mentioned this is the written exam so scheme of examination is totally mentioned here objective type questions will be there for both the post there will be paper one that will include the subject paper diploma standard questions will be there there will be paper two the a part will include tamil eligibility test and b part will include general studies aptitude and mental ability test so proper 450 marks will be there maximum marks will be 450 and three hours two papers will be conducted paper one and paper two so this will be the criteria this will be the examination scheme that is totally mentioned over here the candidates who have been exempted to write Tamil eligibility test shall be allowed to write only general studies paper so those candidates who will be exempted for this they will just write the paper B uh, paper second only general studies paper they will write for it and yes certain instructions are already mentioned here related to CBT you can go through with it if we talk about the selection process then CBT examination will be the part of the selection process only and there will be different centers for the examination so examination will be conducted in the seven centers in Tamil Nadu state so you can apply accordingly and yes employment details the general details everything is totally mentioned over here because these are the government vacancies and there will be certain general instructions for these vacancies for the writer for the written exam so you can go through with that completely that is also mentioned over here and this is a full notification in front of you you can apply for these vacancies till 24th december 2023 some general instructions are also mentioned here related to the vacancies related to application related to the examination so mobile phones will be also banned here so general uh, instructions are totally mentioned over here for the candidates how do you have to apply for these vacancies all you have to do is you just need to go to the official website we are going to provide you the application link so you can apply for this vacancy first of all those candidates who are not registered do the one-time registration pay the 150 rupees fee then apply for this vacancy and you will have to pay 100 rupees fee for that apply for it then you will have to prepare for the written exam you will go for the written exam and you will select it for the post of assistant horticulture officer and assistant agriculture officer so 250 plus vacancies are out here and full notification is in front of you all you will have to do is you will just need to take the printout also so whatever the application you do just take out the printout of that so if we talk about the important dates then 24 december is the last date to apply but yes in these vacancies the correction window will be open up and from 29th december till 31st december you can do the correction if you had already made some mistakes in your application so just take care of it go through with the full notification here and we are providing the application link to you if you need any kind of help from your paid education you can contact us the details are provided in the description box just like this vacancy we are coming up with the multiple vacancies follow our whatsapp channel telegram channel whatsapp group we are we are informing about the various vacancies there you can follow them the links are provided in the video description you can go through with it so all the best for the application all the best for the preparation thank you